Hello, welcome back to Roy's workshop. Today I'm in Oxfordshire, in the middle of nowhere, but I've got something special. Look at this. It's a Sum. What a thing. You got Simca Unigmarman Bouquet. Um, these are ex French military. They have a Ford flathead V8 in them, with, and everything else is French out of them. Used for reconnaissance vehicle, a sort of special utility car, truck. Uh, weighs about three and a half ton. Has portal axles all round. Selectable two and four wheel drive, obviously high range, low range. Um, and air assisted brakes. And it's uh, been here. This is, belongs to the drummer from Status Quo, John Coglin. And he rang me to come and have a look at it. He's got a little bit of transmission problems. Um, we think the rear diff is the diff lock is engaged so i'm going to go and have a look at that <clears throat> but first i think I'll, I'll show you around the truck oh gosh so a ford flathead simple reliable tough old bit of kit um and that's about it for this really it's ingenious you've got the compressor on the top for the brakes and obviously it takes the same filtered air that the engine takes and you can hear it on the interior um that's about it. These engines are really good. You can take whip off one of the heads and she will run on four cylinders. Um, naturally, you won't have the same, I use this term loosely, performance as with all eight, but you can do it to get away with it. Really good, reliable unit, and obviously still get parts really quickly. Yeah. I've got the job, Robin Hood's garage, working in the garage, he's a friend The idea sounded great. Until you get your hands dirty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is the worst thing about working on cars is getting your hands dirty. Oh man, you know, and it, it's difficult to see why yeah. should I stay? I didn't stay very long. Well, that's why I yeah, you, you know I, I do this for a hobby yeah. more than a job. Yeah. Well, there we go. <clears throat> so you join me under the sum. Sum now. Um, I've jacked up this wheel, and as you can see, it doesn't rotate very far. So I said there is a dock clutch on the in the diff to lock the diff. It's actuated by this airline coming in and actuating on this diaphragm, and obviously it engages. To me, looking at it, I'll just show you, you can see that there's two marks. You can see where it's been a little bit clean here, a little bit dirty. You can probably see a bit better underneath. To me, if it's out, that to me shows me that the air pressure has been applied and it's pushed it out. So I think we need to lubricate up here, clean it up a bit. And we'll just give it a gentle tap back in to see if that'll disengage it because maybe the spring spring that's in the back of here isn't pushing it back over to disengage the dog clutch um i don't know flying by the seat of my pants but we'll work it out we'll go give it a lube up and i'll catch with you in a moment so now i've tapped it back in and it did go in good bit a little bit of uh, wd-40 and she's gone in beautifully so i'm just going to lube it up and I've asked John just to engage it, start up the truck, just to engage this. Hopefully this is going to come out. You'll hear it hiss. Hopefully. Oh, there you go. And off. Yeah. Uh, off, George. Off. On. Off. Oh, yeah. Off. Oh, it's getting there. Right, I'm going to carry on doing this. I'll be back with you in a moment. So we may have found it. Seems to be okay there. I just went over a rock. <laughs> so having problems. I think it's the three wheel unit, or like a three wheel actuator that's in the transfer box.
typically starting to rain. Do you want to try and put it a bit, bit further in? You've got loads of... Is it? Yeah. So you, you can come back a little bit further just to get out of the rain. We'll edit that bit out, John. I'll edit this bit in. <laughs> Perfect. So unfortunately, we haven't been able to fix everything, but the rear diff now frees up and engages perfectly fine. Um, and I'm happy it isn't the diff. That is the, is the problem. What it is, is it, driving forward, it's perfectly fine. But once you put it into reverse and you, you start to roll back, it's, it's, it sounds like the transmission is winding itself up. Now in these, these have a sort of free wheel unit and I'm not too sure, to me, speaking to a chap who's worked on these for many years, it, to me it sounds like that's the issue, but um, I don't have enough, I have some tools with me, but I don't have everything, I've said I'm not at the workshop um, and I certainly don't have the oil if I was to take off one of the inspection covers to put back into it, so I'm going to leave it as is um, and whether I come back to it in the future, we'll see, I'm, obviously I'll give John all of the information that I have for the, for the truck. Um, and any sort of information I can give him, I certainly will. Um, but what a what a machine! I think it's it'd be so much, such a lot of fun. And and I think these are these are a damn sight cheaper than a Unimog. So and I've always wanted a Unimog, especially sort of sixties, mid sixties. I'd love one of them. But um, I certainly keep an eye out for one of these, as well as the Halflinger, the Bentley, the Rolls Royce, and everything else that I would like to have in our collection. Um, but to that end. Um, I'll say thank you very much to John Coglin for, for letting me come out here and, and have a look at his truck. We're going to have a couple of beers tonight, which will be great. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but thanks for watching. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye now. So just before I end the video here, I thought I'd just say thank you very much to John and Jilly Coglin for having us. Um, sorry we couldn't get it fixed on this occasion, but I'm sure it'll be back on the road very soon. I'll also throw in a couple of photographs of... Uh, the things that we saw the next day at Gaden, we, we met up on our way home. We drove up to Gaden and met John and Jilly up there, along with a couple of other Land Rover friends, um, and had a good look wander around there, which I do uh, recommend going up. If you're in the area, do swing on by. It is a, a fantastic museum and a lot of rare pieces in there. Um, but yeah, thanks again. Thanks very much for watching. Here's a sneak peek into the behind the scenes of us taking the P6 home. Um, thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye now. Oh, are we recording? Did you press the button at the top? Yeah. yeah Hello and welcome to another edition of Rory's Workshop. This is not Rory, this is George. We have Rory driving. Hello. Driving the P6. For the last time. Uh, yeah, the last time. Goes off to its new owner. Well, um, but oh. it is silky smooth. Sorry, it's not Watch out for dogs. Thank you. So we drive through the picturesque country village of Shilton. Is it Shilton? I think it is Shilton. Mm. Oh yes, oh, we've got Ford. Will it, um, it conk out? It does not go fast. Yeah, as long as we don't get fast. It's not my car anymore, so I don't care. Is that works? Um, how long is, is the owner going to be watching? We're washing the underside. Let's hope the owner doesn't watch Rory's workshop. Yeah, indeed. So this is George, who owns the Ferguson. Oh, it's still recording. It's still, yeah. Oh, it's still recording. Yeah, it's still Just lost the screen. Yeah. The Ferguson, yes. The Ferguson, so it's George's fault that I had to change the... All that work I had to put into the no. Ferguson. The creator of work. <laughs> 
does the Ford go? Straight. Oh. I don't know. Oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Can't children. Watch out for the kids. Oh, we can do that. Okay. Right, full speed. I want to do full speed. Yeah, you can. No, I'm not doing full speed. Slow it down. I'm not, I'm not going to run the children over. Oh, hey. Oh. Wait, hey, oh, here we go. Deep. Here's Dr. Lovely. <laughs> well driving then. a boat on water. That was fun, wasn't it? Never ending. Oh, no. Be fun and excitement on Roy's workshop is second to none. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. You know the deal. That um, that V8 diff is made out of a difference, isn't it?